Hello and welcome back to the Mindset Project Podcast. My name is Lewis Condy and my aim is to give you the tools to develop and improve your mindset. By drawing on my own experiences as a competitive swimmer, as well as the opinions and experiences of other incredible individuals, I hope to expose you to an alternative way of thinking. And in doing so, I hope that inspires some sort of personal growth. I believe that through mindset development, we can strive physically, mentally and emotionally. I hope you're all doing well, staying positive and staying healthy. So let's get on to it. Welcome back to another episode of the Mindset Project Podcast. This week's episode is definitely going to be a fun one and I definitely think it will be another episode where you will hopefully change the way you think about things. And this, the topic of this week's episode is on being offended. So I have always wanted to talk about this topic because one, I think it's very interesting and two, we live in a society now where people get offended left, right and centre. So I think that it is a very, very relevant topic to talk about. So instead of easing you in this week, I'm literally just going to jump straight right in there and say that being offended is a choice because it is. You being offended is a reaction to something. So for example, someone has either said something or done something that triggers something within you and then you feel offended. But you don't necessarily need to feel offended, you could just as easily ignore it and move on. Both are choices. And what I say in this episode will no doubt trigger people or offend them because I will be saying things that put responsibility onto you. And don't worry because I'm going to show you how you can not feel offended in the future. And I think before we go any further, I'm just going to say this, you know, everything I do is has no intentions of being offensive. I have no intention of, you know, offending anyone or triggering any, anyone. The sort of aim of this podcast is to give you a different way of thinking, give you um, a different outlook, a different perspective on different topics, on life, on whatever it may be that we're talking about. Um, And, you know, you can agree, you can disagree, that is absolutely fine. I'm not trying to persuade anyone to think the way that I think, but what I think about uh, mindset is that when you sort of expose yourself to different mindsets especially ones that sort of challenge your own that is where um you know self-growth self-development it lies because you're sort of having to challenge your own beliefs you're sort of you're challenging that your sort of core principles in many ways um so i definitely think perspective and mindset is all about surrounding yourself with perspectives and opinions that you necessarily don't really agree with because you can sort of understand where that person's coming from and obviously you can take this into your own, adjust your mindset, adjust your perspective and it just makes you far more open-minded. So that was just a quick little rant but yeah, we're going to get started with this episode. So let's say that you are offended. What I see that happens is that the person who is feeling offended often goes on the defensive and goes after the perpetrator so the person who has said that thing or done that thing which has caused this offense and what they will say is the perpetrator has to change their behavior but where is your responsibility in this equation because it is you that is feeling offended someone else might not find what they have said or what they have done offensive which means the problem is you not that individual And it could even be the case that you are the only one that actually feels offended by what this person has said or what they have done. And if that is the case, then obviously you have to sort of take responsibility for how you're feeling because if no one else feels offended by what they've said or what they've done, then yeah, you are sort of responsible for you. So yeah, it is sort of down to you. So what if I told you that Maybe it isn't the perpetrator that has to change their behaviour. Maybe it is actually you. And people will not like that because what I'm basically saying is you are responsible for feeling offended because you are. Like I said at the start, you can easily walk away and ignore it or you can choose to be offended. Like The choice is up to you. The power lies with you. And another thing to mention here is that 
you do not know the intention of that person. Like, if they have no intention of being offensive, yet you are still offended, then how can you really blame them for you feeling offended? Like, this sort of just highlights again that you have a role to play here in being the solution and sort of working on yourself in order to not feel offended. And the reason that the power lies with you is because, like I've already mentioned, you can just easily ignore it and move on rather than feel offended. But what can you do if you do get offended? So if you ever feel offended, instead of having that reactionary response of they're being offensive because they're not nice, yada yada yada, try and look inward to yourself. Because like I've already said, feeling offended is a response to something. So someone has triggered something within you to create that reaction. And perhaps this is something is this something could be an insecurity you may have. And when that insecurity is triggered, that is that could be what makes you feel offended and because of that you need to start looking within yourself to find out what that thing is and address it so that you don't become offended in the future because there is so much power in not reacting to something someone has said or done. You know, like I've already said, not everyone has the intention of being offensive but some people do have that intention and they are seeking that reaction from you. So when you don't give them that reaction, you aren't given, giving them your power and on the flip side if you do give them that reaction and that sort of reactionary response that's what they're seeking that's what they're trying to get from you and if you give them that you're giving away your power so don't do that and because you don't know what someone's intentions are that is another reason why you should work on yourself when something has triggered you and before I go any further I would like to quickly add that the things I'm talking about that might make you feel offended or sort of small things such as like jokes you know not all jokes are intended to be offensive but people can still feel offended by them and I know that there's some situations where it's very hard not to feel offended and the sort of situations that I'm thinking of are situations where people or a group of people have said something hateful or done something hateful towards another group of people or an individual and all I can really say in these situations is if you can try and ignore it because people who are projecting hate do not deserve the time, the energy and the oxygen because the, the reason they're projecting hate is because they're insecure about something, they're either jealous or they lack something and they're sort of just projecting that out. And just remember that when people bring you down, the, the reason that they're bringing you down is because they're already below you. You're doing something that they do not like and they're going to try and bring you down. So just ignore them if you can. You know, there's some people in this world who are just full of hate and you cannot change them no matter what you do. So the best thing you can do is just ignore them, move on, surround yourself with people who um, sort of build you up and sort of are positive and support you, basically. So yeah. So back to what I was saying before that little sort of detour. People might be listening right now and they might be thinking, why do I need to change my behavior or myself because of something else? And the answer is very simple. If you are offended by this thing, whatever that may be, if you don't want to address that thing within you that has triggered you, then you will just get offended by someone else in the future. It will just happen time and time again. Why on earth would you choose to have a reactionary response, which in my view is quite negative and it doesn't really solve any issues, it make, probably makes the situation worse, rather than having a response that is personal growth oriented, oriented which in my view is more positive. And, and to overcome this, you can actually look within yourself and ask, why am I being offended? What have they done that triggers me? And by doing this, you can be the solution to the issue. And again, it's all about taking control of the situation by being part of the solution. Because you are part of this equation and you sort of have to take responsibility for your part in that. And to add as well, if you did take the more reactionary response and went down the road of telling the offender that they had to change their behaviour, there's absolutely no guarantee that that will happen because you can't control how 
people act or what they say. It is always better to bring the power back into yourself and that's another reason why you have to be part of the solution because yes you might be able to say to them oh can you don't say that again because I don't really like that but there's no guarantee that they're going to change their behavior because of that and if they're not going to change your behavior then that means that you're going to have to change you're going to have to address that thing that's triggered you anyway so instead of sort of going that you may as well just skip a step and go straight within yourself and even on a more spiritual level when you do not get triggered by the behaviors of others that is a sign that you have went through some sort of spiritual growth because you're not getting triggered by the things around you as your old self was and as you've de- and this is probably down to the fact that you've developed this in many ways resistance to feeling offended and there is so much power in that And another point to add is this, if you are someone who people know who are easily offended, then people might end up walking on eggshells around you because they will be cautious of what they can say and what they can do. And this might actually put restraint on your relationships because they might not be able to be their true selves because they're being sort of cautious around you. And I can speak this from experience because I am a very sarcastic person and not everyone gets that and I accept that and I do think it is very easy to offend people when you are being sarcastic. Now obviously my friends know this and they sort of understand that I'm sarcastic and they probably don't take me seriously most of the time but if I said for instance that jacket looks absolutely awful I obviously wouldn't be saying it literally like I wouldn't be you know saying that your jacket looks awful I'd be saying it sarcastically I'd be having a bit of a joke and I do think, you know, social media makes it easier to be offended because you can't really gauge tone from text or you can't gauge it through a screen. And I think that's definitely one of the dangers of social media. And it's actually why I started to prefer TikTok to most social media apps because I can make a video using my tone of voice and my facial expressions, which means people can sort of get that. They can sort of get that sarcasm, which I use almost all the time. And for example, like using the previous example of that jacket looks absolutely awful, obviously I wouldn't say it to be offensive, but if that jacket meant something personal to that individual, or they were in a like tough place mentally, then that could cause them to feel offended. And obviously I would have no intention of being that. I'm just super sarcastic, and that's something that I would say. And another thing that I should have mentioned earlier is that when you choose to feel offended you're actually choosing to be the victim and this can actually make the situation worse because you are actually becoming more sensitive to the issue rather than more resistant and that is why I think the best possible approach to feeling offended is doing this internal work asking yourself what is going on within me that I can change what do I need to grow from etc rather than the reactionary response of he did this she did that that's bad i don't like that yada 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 which in my view is a more negative approach so to conclude this little episode on being offended i think the key message here is about looking inward when someone or something triggers you to be part of the solution because by doing that you're not giving away your power to the offender or the perpetrator whatever you want to call them And also having this internal solution can actually help you grow spiritually as a person because you are facing your insecurities and you're facing your fears and you're taking these head on and you're also doing things that might make you uncomfortable as it is these things that can often cause us to feel offended. And you know, when you do the things that make you uncomfortable, that's where you're going to grow as an individual. That is where you know, doing the uncomfortable things is what makes life more comfortable in the future. And instead of having that reactionary response, which often happens, we start to look internally and within us to see how we can solve the issue. And there are some situations where, you know, there's nothing that we can do on the individual level. You know, sometimes people are just offensive and that's that. There's nothing we can do about it. And in those situations, all we can really do is just ignore it. Like, why stress about something that you cannot control? You know, the sort of key thing that I'm trying to get here is that sometimes 
if you are offended, the answer can actually be within yourself as opposed to externally. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope I haven't offended anyone. And that is going to be the concluding remarks on this week's episode. So with that, stay fit, stay safe, and I shall see you on the next one.